It's that zest to flow, no, she must flow Yeah, yeah, yeah Hello and Namaste, this is me Hurya Male Magar. This is another video of mine on IT Help channels and welcome back to uh, IT Help channel after a long time. Of course, today also I'm going to talk about DOCSIS 3 cable modem. Uh, today I have a Technicolor uh, cable modem and I'm going to talk about this cable modem today. So, uh, uh, let me uh, log into the uh, modem page and we'll show you what feature does this modem has and how we can do the basic configurations on this cable modem so upon of any uh, browser that you have and the default gateway uh, is 192.168.1 and default credential for this cable modem is username is blank and password is admin uh, this is the uh, first page which is redirect after you uh, log in this is the status menu and from here you can you know uh, get the information about the software uh, connection uh, yeah, let me tell you more about the connection uh, menu uh, from here uh, you can uh, you, you just you will know about the operation status of cable modem how many downstream and upstreams are locked by this cable modem and the uh, power of the cable uh, downstream upstream and as center and so on so here uh, my cable modem uh, connectivity state is operational boot state is operational and here is the uh, modem here is the modems configuration uh, file and here is information about the downstream currently this modem uh, has locked only for uh, downstream and this is the downstream power and SNR and uh, here is uh, upstream information uh, this modem has locked only to uh, upstream right now okay and if you uh, like to change your uh, username and the password of the cable modem then just you can uh, change your username and password and if you would like to reset factory reset uh, your cable modem then you can uh, click here and then uh, hit the apply button also you can reboot the cable modem from this menu uh, this is the diagnostic uh, page menu uh, event log uh, from here uh, you can you know check the event log of this cable modem uh, initial scan uh, yeah, initial scan means uh, you know uh, you can uh, manually set the downstream frequencies uh, or, or upstream channel ID for the initial scan, and you can switch the uh, modem of this cable modem. Currently, this is working as a IPv4 mode with IPv6 pass through. So let me uh, talk about network menu. Uh, from here, you can change your uh, LAN network subnet, and if you would like to st uh, stop your uh, DHCP server, then click on No and then uh, hit the Apply button. And this is the starting IP. This is the end IP, and this one is the least time. And if we're gonna talk about one menu, uh, this is the wine interface status actually this is the IP that is assigned uh, by ISP to me now it is uh, working as a DHCP mode and if your ISP is providing a static IP then you can 
select the static IP and put the IP address, subnet gateway, and so on. Uh, here is another option that is uh, computer. It means uh, how many uh, devices are connected uh, via this modem. You can check and you can list it out the devices, IP addresses, and the list time. Uh, from this menu, uh, this is DDNS, uh, time, FTP diagnostic, port based pass through, and so on. Uh, here is another option called advanced. Uh, here, by default, all the uh, feature, uh, all the services are running by default, and only uh, two things are not enabled that is, remote config management and the UPnP enabled. Otherwise, all the services are running. Uh, from here, you know, if you if you, if you like to block some particular devices uh, on the basis of IP address that is configured on devices or uh, assigned by this cable modem, and if you would like to uh, block some particular modem, then you can you know type the IP address of that particular devices and uh, tick the enable and hit the apply button. Then after this mo uh, this particular uh, device will not get the internet access and the same for the MAC address uh, on this uh, you will uh, define the MAC address of particular uh, devices instead of IP address you can you know uh, set the MAC address of that particular device and if you apply if you hit the apply then this device will not get internet access this is port filtering this is port forwarding this is one of the uh, you know important uh, part i think because you know uh, in 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 today's uh, nowadays many people uh, you know uh, they use different services at home as well and so if you would like to uh, if you would like to you know uh, run particular services or something like that and you would like to Access those services from outside uh, from internet. Then you can you can share the port forwarding. You can you know uh, share the local IP address. This is a public. Ad this should be a public address so that you can uh, access the access your services from the internet. And blah 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 blah. And from here uh, you can forward the ports and port triggered. Uh, DM net host web setup. Here is the another uh, option that is firewall. Hmm. I'm not gonna talk much about uh, firewall because it's really uh, not necessary uh, for the basic home users. Uh, another important uh, thing that I see in this cable modem it's parental control it has a good and it's working very uh, perfectly for me you know uh, if I uh, don't want to let the people to sort some particular content uh, on the basis of keyword then I can filter it you know if somebody is trying to find in a Google is cool or something like that then I can you know state the keyword let's see um, If I don't want to uh, let the people uh, to search about the phone from my network, then I can add this keyword. And if somebody is trying to uh, search from the Google by typing telephone, then he will not get any response. And if I would like to block some particular uh, URL, like a B C D or B C D F dot com. If I don't want to let the people to search this uh, or to visit this website, then I can add the you know uh, domain name and I should enable this and hit the apply button. Then after uh, that, people will not get the uh, uh, will not you know uh, will not will not able to access internet access uh, from your cable modem 
as I told you this is inbuilt wireless cable modem so it has a wireless features, uh, features as well if you would like if you don't want to uh, enable wireless then uh, you can disable and you can change this you know parameters if you uh, if you are familiar with the wireless and its parameters this is 2.4 gigahertz band Uh, primary network uh, from here you can change the SSID or Wi-Fi name of your router and uh, uh, these are the security mode what type of security mode you would like to apply on your mode uh, cable mode it depends upon the you uh, you know you can uh, share the password and show on. access control this is our uh, ACL uh, this is really not necessary, but uh, you can maintain it if you would like to. This is the advanced option. You can you know change the parameters over here. Blazing W M M. Yeah, this is the features uh, of technical Doxus 3.0 cable modem. It's really uh, cool mode. Uh, thank you so much for watching uh, this video till the end.